Leaf stems, how to attach the leaf to the tree. This was something that I was thinking about for quite a while while working on this project because I was thinking that I was not going to go with a copper stem. That hadn't crossed my mind. I made this up out of some spare wire I had laying around and tried it. And of course it soldered fine. It soldered great. So once I knew that it would work, I decided to go with copper stems, too. I didn't know how well the copper would solder to the steel. That's why I didn't... I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure what I wanted. Here's the master. What's left of it. I think this master is probably a month a month old anyway. It sat around for quite a while before I got word on what to do, what they wanted. So yeah, that's all we have to do is stick it on there like that and we're done. So anyway, I think I'm talking there about trying to figure out how I want to attach that. And I come up with the idea of the nubs. But that's for later. See, a hammer can be used for a lot of things. Try to find the right position. I don't burn my thumb off. Now that's that's kind of tricky there. Just trying to heat the leaf without doing too much heating of the copper wire because that copper wire would would melt. So basically, the best way to go about it, I think, is to tin both first then bring them together under a little bit of heat and they just become one. Pretty simple. I think originally I kind of wanted to when I was thinking I was going to do it out of steel, I wanted to take that bottom part that, that touches the stem and kind of wrap it around. But it wasn't necessary. So long as you make sure your solder gets to the very bottom of it. This is a silver bearing solder too. I like that little torch. I never thought I would ever use a little torch like that for anything. But the more things I find useful for it, I'm really impressed. It it does have a nice high heat in a in a really small area. You mean you get much out of that area and forget it. I think the these wires had had maybe um, a lacquer coating on them or something. They did not like to tin very well. Once you reach a certain heat, they were okay. I think I think I figured out that if I burnt that whatever coating was on them, if there was. 
to uh, burn that off first. No, I'm not set up for soldering. Not at all. Now, I could use the big torch, except the big torch wanted to melt leaves. It didn't take much. There was a there was a point where you were fine, but if you went even blinked your eyes past that, you were missing part of a leaf. So I went with the smaller torch. Took a little longer, but it was a lot safer. Here I am trying to melt the leaf. Uh, I think I'm I'm trying to play with the oxides on that. There, it's good. Set the torch right in the camera view. You can tell that I'm oblivious to everything but what I'm doing. That's why I can't talk and work at the same time. This this narration is has to do. This is a record for me. A living record. Well, since we can't actually see what's being done. Unless you could zoom that. There's like a little crack where I can see everything. I am glad I thought about using copper. Oh, that's, that's, you gotta give that, gotta give that solder a chance to cool down. That actually comes into more, more of an issue later when I'm soldering into steel. Because that steel will hold temperature a lot longer. And for those who don't know, you can solder steel. You can silver solder steel. And the joint's quite strong. That's the problem with messing around with the heat like that on things. You just don't know when something's going to be hot and when it's not. So like I said, the way I found it worked pretty good for these was to tin each each part, bring them together under heat, and then give them a dab of solder again. Because it just would not, it would not uh, wet on the copper wire. It, it, it would, it would work its way in. Oh, there you go. A little patience there. Just rip it right off. It might not be safe, but I think I'm going to have to maybe look at modifying that torch. That little, that little safety thing on there is almost to the point where it's it's worn down enough that I I can't grip it. All I'm doing is pushing on it instead of pulling it. Don't touch it. Blow on it. All right, here's the operation. Let's 
sinking down nicely. I would like it to wet that leaf better, but maybe I didn't see that. So I decided to hang these in groups of twos and threes, kind of like the master branch. So I just connected the stems of three leaves or two leaves together at the end and soldered them. I think I twisted them first, then soldered them. So basically, I think I'm, I'm going into the next section on how I'm going to attach them. You got your branch. And you just create a nub. Weld that nub onto the branch. You drill a hole in it. You fill it full of solder. You make sure it, it wets. And it will. It, if you freshly drill that hole. And then you just put the the, the uh, stems in it. Let it cool and solidify. But I think I think the other drawings are just versions of that. I was I was hoping to get something that looked a little more. I don't know, natural, less square shaped, but in the end it didn't really matter. It, it looked fine. Thanks for watching.